Move on to our last topic. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad got a lot of uh, attention this week from the media. Uh, and there was a lot of great debate about should he have been invited to speak at Columbia University, where he ended up being denounced during the introduction by Columbia's President Lee Bollinger. Of course, uh, media outlets are not shy about putting him on. The latest one, 60 Minutes, Scott Pelley did the interview. Let's take a look at that. It is an established fact now that Iranian bombs and Iranian know-how are killing Americans in Iraq. You have American blood on your hands. Why? Well, this is what the American officials are saying. So uh, could it be argued that journalists like Scott Pelley are giving this dictator a platform? Uh, I guess it could be argued that, but he's also giving a very tough interview of this dictator. I think the difference with Columbia was that a prestigious academic institution was giving him a platform of, to spew his propaganda. In fact, it's working. He's just been down with Hugo Chavez, who said that he was uh, you know, a great revolutionary for defying the Western imperialists. So I think in this case that the arguments against Ahmadinejad being at Columbia were correct. Uh, Diane Sawyer, Brian Williams have also interviewed uh, Ahmadinejad this year. Here's what uh, John Friedman says, media columnist at MarketWatch.com. The lesson was how to sucker the U.S. media. The man played us for suckers, just like any PR-hungry celebrity who spins reporters and editors. I think that Ahmadinejad had a huge win in his trip to the United States, but it was not because he, somebody allowed him to give a speech while he was in New York City. In a free country, one might expect that people couldn't be banned from speaking. But, at the, but the reason that he, it was such a win for him and the reason it played so well for him at home is the way he was attacked, the way he was attacked by Lee Bollinger in the, uh, in the introduction, the way he was attacked during his media interviews, and the way that he was made out to be this great Satan, Satan manifest on earth in this tiny rumple-suited body. It made him seem so much more powerful than the, his own people think that he Yes. All the more reason for, for why he should not have been invited. It could have been expected that there would be this outcry and this opposition. And he's using that, as you say, right. to say that he had the strength to stand up to the, the Western imperialists. You two can take this outside. <laughs> Rachel Maddow, Amy Holmes, thanks for checking in this morning. Up next.